Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, this is my YouTube channel, Sheral Things, where I talk about all things health anxiety related. So if you're new here, please subscribe to keep up to date with my videos and give this video a like if you enjoy it and if you found it helpful. Um, so in this video, I wanna talk about um, headaches. Headaches, they cause so much stress and they're usually caused by stress and anxiety. So it's just like a constant vicious cycle. But I think that most of us with health anxiety, at some point, um, we've convinced ourselves that we have a brain tumor or an aneurysm because of headaches. Um, and it's important to remember that headaches are a very common manifestation of anxiety. You know, it's up there with one of the most common symptoms, you know, to the point where you know, people even say things like, oh, you're giving me a headache or work's giving me a headache because it's just such a common, well-known thing. But of course, us with health anxiety, we we don't take anxiety in, into consideration. We just think, no, we've got a big old brain tumour or aneurysm or whatever other scary thing that Google has told us. But I want to talk a little bit into why um, anxiety and stress can cause headaches in the first place. And there's kind of like two main things. First and foremost is muscle tension. When we are stressed and anxious, we hold a lot of tension and sometimes we don't even realize that we're actually doing it. So for some people, um, they'll hold it in their shoulders so they'll find that they're, they're kind of walking around like this without even really realizing it. A lot of people hold muscle tension in their neck so that they feel really stiff and achy and people can also hold muscle tension in their jaw. Now, when it comes to the shoulder, the neck and the jaw, what can happen is when we hold chronic, especially chronic muscle tension in those areas without realizing it, it will trigger headaches. Um, and the most typical kind of headache that you will get in, a, uh, in association with muscle tension will be a tension headache. So a tension headache is the kind of headache that you feel like a band that goes around your head. Um, and they can be really, really uncomfortable. Um, they can last a couple of days. They're not pleasant, um, but they are harmless and it's just due to that tremendous tension that we're holding without kind of realising it. Now, the other reason that we can get headaches due to anxiety is because anxiety, especially when our body is in like a state of like fight or flight and we're um, being pumped with a, lot of, with a lot of adrenaline, it actually causes physical changes to the blood vessels. So the blood vessels will dilate when we're stressed and anxious and it sounds a little bit scary when you think about it, but basically it's, it's kind of like saying that the blood vessels in our heads swell. And because of that swelling, um, it gives us a headache. Um, and those kind of changes can cause many different headaches, migraines, ice pick headaches, which feel like sharp, um, stabbing pains in the head, um, obviously tension headaches and, and many more. So it's important to remember that when you're stressed and anxious, it's very likely that you're holding muscle tension and it's very likely that you're experiencing physical changes to your blood vessels. So those two things are bound to cause headaches. Um, but understandably for us with health anxiety, we often discard that kind of information and we go to the worst case scenario of thinking, no, it's a, it's a, it's a brain tumor, it's an aneurysm, it's an AVM or whatever, whatever else Google has told us. Um, and of course, we know that other things cause headaches as well. Dehydration, that's a big one. A lot of us with anxiety as well, we're so anxious all the time um, that it causes us to sweat and we end up dehydrated without realizing it. So we need to be drinking more. Um, a lot of us are neglecting our diet. We're not eating right. Um, lack of sleep, you know, all of these things. Uh, also being on our phone too much and that extra blue light. So. It, you know, it's it's under it's, it makes sense because of all of these things that we do and all of these behaviours that we follow when we're anxious, we're bound to get headaches. You know, all of those things are kind of like a recipe for disaster. Um, so if you are having headaches and you're stressed and anxious, I know that it's absolutely terrifying. I've been there. I've actually got a video on my channel called the Brain Tumor Trap where I talk about how. There was one time where I was completely convinced that I had a brain tumour because I had a headache for four months. And the reason why I went on for four months is because I freaked out over it. I had a fear response and that fear response just made the headache worse and it prolonged it and I was Googling and the more I focused on it, the worse it got. And then the more I was Googling, so I was exposing myself to more light. I wasn't really drinking, I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating properly. It just it just got worse and worse and worse and it only stopped when I had the MRI 
and the MRI came back as fine. So just try and remind yourself. I know it's like really difficult. It's, it's definitely, um, it's, it's not easy. But um, when you are experiencing headaches and your brain is going to the absolute worst case scenario, just try and remind yourself of the things that I've just said that these things do happen. Headaches are super common and only a tiny, tiny minority of people with headaches will have a brain tumour. And not to mention that when it comes to a brain tumour, the person is is way more likely to be experiencing seizures as well as their main symptom, uh, nausea, um, personality changes, vision changes. You know, it, it, it's very rarely just headaches. Um, but obviously, if you are experiencing something new, um, or your headaches are especially severe or abnormal, they, they don't feel like your typical headache, of course, go and get it checked out. You know, at the end of the day, I can't say for certain that all of your headaches are due to anxiety, so always get checked out. But what I will say is the vast, vast, vast majority of headaches are going to be because of your anxiety and stress. So the odds are massively in your favour, but they are very common. I've spoken to many people over the years about their headaches. People have given themselves like chronic migraines. Um, well, I don't, don't want to say given themselves, but their anxiety has caused chronic migraines, um, some of which have been completely debilitating, you know, very, very painful. So just try to remember that these things do happen um, and that Google will always tell you the worst when you type in headaches. We'll always view that information and we will pick out the absolute worst ones and think that that is our reality. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.